What can be done to improve world population health? We'll analyze different factors that most influence life expectancy and identify measures leaders should focus on. Let's look at life expectancy analysis where we see different health indicators by country. The blue line is health expenses per capita and the green line is life expectancy. Government spending alone is not a good way to increase overall life expectancy. Some countries have slowed spending, but life expectancy is still growing. This is not true for the US, which clearly didn't make the leaders quadrant for those measures. With a simple right click, we can resort the data and the health expenses in the entire trellis chart changes. Let's now filter on a specific value of an indicator, in this case, average years of secondary schooling. The visual shows aggregated values by country, and I select those with at least four years of secondary education. The whole dashboard is filtered with less countries meeting the criterion. The tree map shows health expenses per capita. The larger the area in the tree map, the higher the expenditure. If you want to add life expectancy in the tree map and display color, simply drag the measure onto the color bar, and the tree map is expressed in terms of expense and longevity. The darker the color, the higher the life expectancy. For example, the US has large expense but lower longevity, where Italy has longer longevity with less per capita expense. Overall, males have a lower life expectancy than females. We also display other factors by gender, including infant mortality, obesity, and alcohol consumption. Clicking on a country in the tree map, we see the filter applied to the visualizations next to it. Looks like Australia alcohol consumption is higher than the US. If I click on Italy, or better yet France, I can see that alcohol consumption is even higher. Can we assume the more men drink, the longer they live? Let's see how easy this is to build, shall we? From my homepage, I can simply ask a business question. Show me life expectancy by year, and Oracle Analytics brings up the best visualization to beat my query. I can easily adapt this to enrich the design, and selecting columns lets the system automatically suggest the best visualization. I can use a trellis and add multiple metrics on the same line chart using multi-vertical axes, and it's easy to filter just by right-clicking and selecting the values I want. In a single right-click, you can forecast these two metrics across all members of the trellis. You can easily adjust the algorithm if needed. Let's extend our dashboard and build more canvases, clicking in elements and letting the system select the best visualization. Here we show a mortality rate by country, but what drives it? Changing to a scatter plot and dragging GDP per capita into the analyses, you can see if there's a correlation. Duplicate the visualization and shuffle the objects on the dashboard for better layout or visual appeal and try other metrics to see if they have the best correlations. Next, CO2 emissions. There is some level of correlation between CO2 emissions and mortality. Let's try proportion of income to the richest people. And there's a clear correlation that income disparity influences infant mortality. But what does this mean? Simply change the visualization to a narrative. Words are often better than pictures. Let's automate the discovery. Oracle Analytics enables a one-click explain feature where we analyze life expectancy bins to see how hundreds of metrics distribute against life expectancy. I can visually look at which ones most correlate with life expectancy, select the ones of most interest, and immediately create a dashboard within seconds. You can easily filter by countries or regions, for example, Europe, then Australia, and all the charts reflect the appropriate geographic focus. Let's see how easy it is to create a custom calculation. Here's a chart with trends of life expectancy over years, and we want a custom calculation that shows variance of life expectancy from one year to the other. Using two objects, we use variables life expectancy for this year and life expectancy for last year to create a variance between these two columns. We can drag it into the visuals and you'll see the variance along with the value of the year. Finally, we can share and present our findings into a story using the narrate function, organizing the tabs, adding comments, and tying them to different values in the story. We decided to enhance the World Health Organization data with some public data on weather history. We drag the weather file onto the canvas and the data set is created. It gets joined automatically with the World Health data 
and we see the new data sets as well as the diagram that shows the two joins that are automatically discovered between the original data and the new data. When importing data sets, Oracle Analytics identifies the properties of each column, data types, aggregation rules, and analyzes the data to recognize patterns, and offers a series of enrichment and transformation capabilities for specific column types. Here, we select a recommendation to enrich the country with country currency abbreviation, and a new column is added. You can do multiple manual transformations with the data as well. For example, you can create groupings of countries, creating regions, Pacific countries, European countries, etc., and a new column is added to the data set. Visualizing all the data now available to use, we can compare precipitation rates with birth rates. We see some correlations, but adding in the country, we see this is a clear correlation between a higher level of precipitation and higher birth rates. Hmm, I guess you can say when it rains, it pours babies in New Zealand. Oracle Analytics also transforms the data within the visualization. Life expectancy is compared against mortality rate under 5, and the system automatically bins the data into different buckets. We see life expectancy is highly correlated with mortality rate under the age of 5. Addressing health and accident challenges with young children could improve the overall life expectancy of the population. Oracle Analytics has many different ways to share and schedule reports from the cloud and web. As the Surgeon General, I'm always on the go, so I'm showing you how Oracle Analytics lets me collaborate, share, and schedule content with others using a mobile device. The content is organized into two different feeds, the recommended feed that shows what the community is doing, and a personalized feed that's tailored just for me based on my search history and my interests over time. If I need something that's not on my feed, I can simply ask for it. Show life expectancy by country. Just like that, the system produces analytics on the fly and lets me explore and interact with the data at will. And if I want to see this content on a regular basis, I can schedule it a few different ways. I can have the system bring it back any day, week, or month at a specific time of my choosing. I can schedule it to be generated in Sydney, for example, and even when I'm entering the ICC Conference Center in Darling Harbor. I can also have this alert me if life expectancy drops by 2% in Australia. The system will send an alert and return the report if the metric drops. If I want to collaborate with coworkers, I can do it in a couple different ways. I can collaborate with other colleagues who have the application via real-time discussions thread, share an image in an email, or Slack, or share automated insights that the application provides for me. For the governor, who isn't a provisioned user of the application, I share the analysis with her by clicking the share button and sending a PDF of the results by email. I can provide additional content with the report to ensure that the governor has the right data and the proper context. There's a health emergency, and you need to quickly gather data. Some of it's even written on paper and you need to analyze it to know what's happening with the travelers arriving from other countries. You can use the camera on your phone to import critical data quickly and intuitively. Scan the document with your camera. Oracle Analytics creates a project on your phone that you can simply tap and already see information such as individuals with temperature and so forth. You can upload the data to Oracle Analytics Cloud for aggregation with other sources and further analysis. Once the captured camera data is updated to Oracle Analytics Cloud, I can leverage all the augmented capabilities of the platform. Natural language queries allow me to ask questions like, show me the temperature and weight for individuals with a fever. I started from a simple picture of an intake form or a table of data on a piece of paper. And now I can ask complex questions about individuals that have a fever, see their temperature, understand their weight profile, or see a scatter plot for those individuals at risk. I can interact with the visualizations and even change the analysis to better suit my needs. Paper to analysis in less than 60 seconds. For more information on Oracle Analytics, head to oracle.com analytics, and you'll see how our mission is to help people see data in new ways, discover insights, and unlock endless possibilities. Thank you.